Okay, so welcome back. So in these examples, we're going to show you how to write. And again, I've showed you this before, but again, now we're going to uh, do it um, directly. So I'm going to show you how to write these in both uh, the list method or what the or what some textbooks call the roster method, list method, same thing, um, and then set builder notation. Okay, so here we want to write the set of integers, right? The set of integers between negative two and five. Now between, the word between implies that we're not going to include the endpoints, which means we're not going to include negative two and five in the set, which means our list would start with the curly brace, which is going to start with negative one, zero, one, two, three, and four. And so that would be using the roster method or list method, okay? And then again, notice that I end, begin and end with the curly braces, the set builder uh, set braces, okay? Now, um, if I want to do this with set builder notation, then I would write it like this. I would, again, have my braces, and I would start with the set of all x, right? So I want the set of all x such that what? x is an element, right? So we use a simple element. x is an element of what? The integers. Okay? And, or comma, and what? x is between uh, negative 2 and 5. So we would say x is less than 5 and greater than negative 2. And then we put the end brace on and we're finished. Okay? So this would be the list method or roster method. This is the set builder notation. Okay, now, what about the uh, B? Okay, we want the set of all rational numbers greater than five. Okay, so if I want to use the list method, then again, I'm gonna make my curly brace. Now I want set of rational numbers, right? Rational numbers greater than five. Well, in this case, the roster method would not work out very well, okay? Because I would have to somehow write out the rational numbers um, or at least get a pattern going where I could use the ellipsis, and that's, that's really going to be tedious. So in this case, I wouldn't even bother with the roster method because it's going to be difficult to do. In this case, just go straight to the, the uh, set builder notation. So the easiest way is we're dealing with rational numbers and greater than five, okay? So I want the set of all x such that what? I want x to be an element of the rational numbers and I want x to be greater than five. And I'm done, okay? So again, Keep that in mind. Now, there's a couple other things, too, that I want to mention. The empty set. We talked about the empty set before, but what is the empty set and how do we denote it? Remember what I said. The empty set is the set that has no elements in it, okay? So how do we denote the empty set? Well, the empty set is denoted two different ways, okay? And either way is fine, okay? So the empty set, okay? Again, it's the set that has no elements in it, okay? So we can denote that either using the circle with the slash through it, or we could just use curly braces with nothing between them. Either one is fine. You'll see it both ways throughout the textbook, and most textbooks uh, will use one or the other, okay? But you'll see them both when, they, when it's introduced. Now, what you don't want to do is mix them up or combine them. So this is... The empty set is not this, okay? That would not be the empty set. This is the set that contains the empty set, okay? So that's very different than the empty set. So you don't want to do this because that does not mean the empty set, okay? So you either use one or the other. You don't want to use both at the same time, okay? And that's it. So next we'll talk about, um, oh, what's next? Uh, oh, how to graph them.
Let's talk about how to graph the solutions for these.